the best. I'm here by myself, so I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Every time I walk around the corner, there's something weird and unique going on. One of my favorite days of the year is finally here. It is CES 2023, and I'm going to spend the next two days wandering around finding the coolest technology, but also some of the weirdest technology. And we'll also do some pretty good people watching. So, welcome to the best things at CES 2023. A big part of CES is seeing the mega corporations and the products they have, but I like to go find places like here in the Venetian, where you're in the digital health and accessibility, where you find products that are really, really new and innovative, and they're hoping to probably get some different investors to show products, but you see a lot of cool stuff that may or may not come out to the market someday, but I love the ideas. Usually I give you my top five things from CES, and this year I'm going to show you the coolest things at CES, the weirdest things, and we're just gonna wander around and see it all. I'm not even going to number them one to five because there's too many interesting things to see. Woo, this has already been an interesting day. This is Elegant Smart Earrings. So the first wireless earphones embedded in earrings. Can I try on one of the earrings? Of course. Here is the earring case. You open it up. It's a clip-on. I don't have to have a hole in my ear. So I can put it on like this. And look at that. I'm gonna put both of them on here. <laughs> oh, that's loud. That sounds good. This is not even in my ear. It's just like on the side of my ear but it's able to push the noise into my ear canal. Other people can't hear it around. And the cool thing is too, if somebody calls me, I can answer a call, I can hear it, I can talk to them. First time wearing earrings. CES, who would have thought the first time I'd wear earrings is at CES. So Amazon has their own like little room over here and something cool I noticed. Remember that video we did where we put a smart controller inside of our house? It was with Span. Here, Span. It's actually here in the Amazon space. Pretty cool. We found the moon. Check it out. A self-balancing robot. Look at that. It is keeping the ball on there. To show you, watch this. Boom. Picked it up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it on air. Whoop, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna try it again. There we go. A little higher. Oh, oh. Look at that tech. I need this in my life. Also check out this business card. It's just a regular business card, but as soon as you email the people, then it turns into a robot. Yeah, I think I might have to email them. Okay, how about the world's first electric snow bike? Yes, a bike for snow. It has the ski on the front, it's got the treads on the back, and it's electric. And look at this one, it even has skis on it. Okay, that's pretty rad. 3D printed violins. When you come to CES, make sure that you go to the Venetian on the lower level because you get to see places from all over the world. This is Japan, we've got Korea, we've got Italy over there, Hong Kong, Taiwan. The United States even has a booth highlighting different products. Here at the Japan booth, we've got this exoskeleton device that makes it so you can walk around just fine, but then when you, oh yeah, see that? But then say you just wanna take a seat, like you're standing in the subway, oh look at that, he's sitting down, totally comfortable, but not sitting down. I mean, come on, look at that. He's even, I don't know what he's doing with his hands, maybe driving, oh, thumbs up, okay, there you go. This is an AI robot. Um, robotic and it has some AI built into it. It's got a camera so it's looking at me. Um, so I'm a little scared but... Oh, she wants me to say something. So if you talk into this microphone, she'll say something. Do you watch YouTube videos? Yes, I watch YouTube videos all the time. Have you ever seen the What's Inside YouTube videos? There's a lot of content on YouTube. Okay, I think that's a no on the What's Inside video. Whew, okay, I gotta get out of here. That robot <laughs> is tripping me out. Shatner. What's the story? Using AI technology, <laughs> you can ask him a question into the microphone, and then the digital William Shatner that looks just like him um, will make a video that talks back to you answering your questions. Yeah, that's the tech a lot of people will get worried about, but um, they're doing it for fun here. 
Goodbye, William Shatner. Oh, clouds. People often ask us, what's it like to have like 15 shower heads at your house? <laughs> well, I just found the Kohler booth, which our stuff is Kohler. And uh, this is kind of what it's like when you take a shower at our house. This booth has something that my wife really wants. It's called Bird Buddy. And it's these bird feeders that have digital cameras inside of them, but it also has some AI tech inside of it. So every time a bird comes and visits, the AI will take a picture of it, will scan it, and identify what type of bird it is. And within your app, you're able to see exactly which birds have visited your house. Really, really fun. And I need to get one of these for our house. Check out this lawnmower. It's a robot that just works and goes around your yard all by itself and goes around things. It's like a robot vacuum, but for your lawn to mow your lawn. They definitely should win an award for one of the most creative booths where they just have the robot vacuums all around. It's like an army. I found my people. The golf people are here. Let's check out this guy's swing over here. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice swing. Oh, short of the green, a little left. Ooh, it looks a little strong to me. Let's see. Ooh, almost in the hole. Wow, what a shot. Nice shot. Yeah. They had this last year. I still don't really understand what is happening, but there it is. You see the shoes I'm wearing at CES? They are by a company right here called Kizik. We did a video with some Nike shoes that were like the self-lacing shoes a long time ago, and it turns out the technology comes from this company called Kizik. You don't ever have to tie and untie the shoelace. You just push down on the heel and it just slides and slides out. So you're like, watch this. Shoes are off. I'll show you right here. Shoes are on. Bam. Pretty easy, right? So anyway, I wear them all the time. My wife, Leslie, wears them all the time. I didn't know they'd have a booth here. Um, not sponsored. Not sponsored at all, but these are my favorite shoes that I wear when I want my feet to be comfortable when I have to walk a long way, whether it's on the golf course or at a convention hall like this. So yeah, that's uh, Kizik. And they're a Utah company, which is pretty cool. All kinds of brand activations here. A lot of different companies that you wouldn't expect to be at CES. This one is the Delta and Starbucks collaboration. It's like an activation where you link the two accounts and then when you buy things at Starbucks, you get points on your Delta. So anyway, they have this really cool wall with like a Delta window here. And then you come stand here and I guess, do I push the button? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, not yet. I will push the button and out of this machine will come anything from a little 50 cent mug that probably says Starbucks and Delta on it, or a trip around America, like $500 value or Starbucks gift card. So let's see what I get. I, it could be something interesting. I'm a million miler with Delta, but I don't have very many Starbucks things. So hit the button. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Come on, Delta Starbucks. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's Delta. Are you a real flight attendant? Yes, I am. Oh! Here we go. Delta. Big money, big money. Oh! Yes. I got $500 to fly on Delta. Okay, that was awesome. See, that's what you get for coming to see. Yes. Delta and Starbucks does cool things. Oh my gosh. This is not sponsored. They did not pay me to do this other than giving me this. And they didn't know I'm a YouTuber. So. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. $500. What's up with that? So the great thing about this $500 that I just got with this Delta thing is that this is at Aria, which is not even one of the main convention halls, but I got an email from CES saying, because you're a digital content creator, you get the creator gift. The creator gift was a t-shirt, and um, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I've got enough t-shirts with people's logos on them. I don't need it. So I was a little disappointed, but I am a million miler with Delta, so I saw that and I was like, I might as well see what's going on here with Delta. I do like Delta. It took me probably 15 minutes to link my Starbucks app to the Delta app, and I was just like, all right, I hope this is good for something. And I did see people get mugs and like $5 Starbucks gift cards. I got a $500 gift card on Delta. I fly on Delta all the time. That was a nice little gift for being here on the last day. I love it. I'm pretty confident that this guy does not see us beyond this glass right here. 
He's in some sort of VR world. Right now he's touring the Alps. Uses his hands to control things. I would imagine this is intentional, but uh, this booth called Rolo says, stop going to the post office and then look at the booth right next door. It's this one called uh, the post office. <laughs> One thing you can always count on with CES is that LG is going to be here, that they're going to have the biggest booth, and that they're going to have some sick LG OLED TVs. And man, let me look at these. Every year, all the awards. World's first wireless OLED, apparently that's what's going on. And they always seem to have like a giant wall of OLED TVs. It's been like, I don't know, 10 years? We went to Iceland 10 years ago with LG and we saw all of the OLED TVs. That was the first time I'd seen it. Whenever friends call me and ask me about TVs, I'm always like, gotta go with OLED, gotta go with the LG TV. So yeah, they're not sponsoring me being at their booth today, but I gotta check out the biggest booth and the OLED TVs every year. One of the more controversial things that came out of CES, which is kind of funny, is the RGB refrigerator. That's what this is right here. You know us, it's called What's Inside. They're saying do not open um, is tearing me apart. I don't know who wants an RGB refrigerator, but there's definitely somebody in the world that wants it and they're going to buy it. It's given LG a lot of online publicity. They always say like bad publicity can be good publicity. It looks cooler in person than it did on the Twitter thing that I saw. So the thing I love about the LG booth is that it's massive, it's the biggest one here. But last year, like many companies, it wasn't politically correct to go to CES and have a booth or send your employees so they didn't have a booth, they had the area, but they had these like wooden seats and then like QR codes where you could watch the video. It's a little weird, so it's good to have them back. This guy is this guy. Okay, check this guy out. He's got a backpack on, but it's a QR code connected to this camera. And it's a virtual try on of backpacks. Oh, look at that. It changes and shows you how cool you look with that backpack on. Oh, the color. It's me, the YouTuber, right there. A7S meets my own A7S that I'm vlogging with right now. That's pretty trippy. Looks like the ultimate gaming and work setup station. You can attach three different screens on it. This thing moves, the screen can go up and down, the keyboard, the touch screen, the desk part can go up and down, and then the entire desk can move up and down. This is the future, right here. Look at all these people hanging out together in the metaverse. I'm not quite sure what kind of skateboards were sold here, but um, just so you know, they're, they're no longer here. And it makes me want a skateboard. Whatever skateboard they're selling, it's gone forever, now and forever. And I really wish that I had one. Wow, talk about FOMO. I don't even ride a skateboard. Great marketing, if it is marketing. We got drumming going on, intense drumming, and I hear nothing. I think they're good though. I bet that sounds amazing. I bet that sounds amazing. Sure. I can't hear it, but I bet it sounds good. I think I made him nervous. The most impressive thing about this booth right here is that guy has two phones. Right now I'm walking through one of the halls that has just health information, different things for all types of health. And this has never been as big in the past, but after, of course, a pandemic and the world shutting down for a little while, there are a lot of companies that's coming out with all types of ways to monitor your health, from toilets that monitor what you pee into the toilet and tell you different things, to things for your ears, to sensors over your chest. You wanna get video of it straight? Is that okay? Yeah! Awesome, thank you. This is an official CES award for a toilet. Yes, 
Smart technology on a toilet. I'm sitting on a toilet in front of thousands of people right now. It's by a company called Vivu, and it's this sensor right here that you can attach to any toilet. When you pee into the toilet, this little strip right here come out right here into the toilet. So whether you're sitting down to pee or you are standing up to pee, you pee into there and the urine will hit that strip. The strip goes back into this cartridge and as it goes back in, there are optical sensors inside of here that looks at the color of the urine and it also tracks all different kinds of health things like what your ketone levels are, your vitamin C. It can determine if you have kidney stones. It can also tell that you have COVID or you have the flu different types of illnesses that you may not even know that you have. This can analyze it and sends it directly to the app on your phone. We have smart toilets at our house, but they do a lot of cool things like shoot water, shoot air, or warm up the seat and do stuff like that. But we don't have a toilet that tells me how sick or how healthy I am. It makes sense. There's a lot of data that you can tell just from urine. It's just who wants to really get a little strip and pee on it inside of your house. Keeps it cleaner, but also lets you um, test your urine. This is my sixth year in a row attending CES, and CES 2023, I can say I've seen more robots, more AI, a lot of stuff around the metaverse and the virtual world. The future is going to be very interesting. What we see here, a lot of times in the next five to 10 years, we see the technology go mainstream and be applied into different areas. How about a super cool looking electric motorcycle that goes up to 124 miles per hour, can charge in 30 minutes and has over 200 miles range. And I would imagine some insane zero to 60 and torque off of the line. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> it looks so good. And the last thing that I noticed from this year is that there is so much information around electric cars. A ton of electric car companies are here. Some exciting cars are coming out in the next year. I made a separate video just about one electric car that you can go check out that one. But after walking 20 or 30 miles over the last few days, I'm gonna call it good from CES 2023. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite thing that you saw in my video from CES 2023? Anyway, thanks for watching CES. I will be back next year. There is one booth that is noticeably to me not here this year, and it's usually right here in this spot. It is the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Every year they have a booth right there, and I always feel a little nervous to approach them. Not that I have something to hide, but I feel like they are looking at me and they know so much. So FBI, I guess you're not here at CES this year. That's kind of strange. Where are you? Are you coming back? Maybe you're just here incognito, but um, yeah, maybe come back, get a booth. Hopefully you're there at CES 2024. Are you a real flight attendant? Yes, I am. Oh! I look so cool. <laughs>